Okay, I'm not too sure how good the microphone is on this. I'm going to give this a go. Um, if you wanted to find out, A, if something you had cloned was an instance, or let's say someone gave you a file that had some objects in it, and you don't know if they're instances or not right, in 3ds Max. So if you try and make changes to them, you may simultaneously make changes to all other instances of that object in the scene. So let's say we create a box, a really fancy box. Um, I jump over here, grab this, and we're just going to like hold shift and pull on the x-axis. And here, the last thing that I selected was an instance. If I'd selected a copy and tried this, it would have asked me if I wanted to create another copy. In this case, it asked me if I wanted to create another instance. You've created an instance, uh, which is going to allow you to... Any modification I make to the box on the left is going to be made to the box on the right. So let's create an instance. So how do I know later on, or if someone else created these two boxes and sent them to me, if this one is an instance of this one? How do I know? Well... To remove an object as an instance, right? See, I click on this box. I come over here underneath the modifier list dropdown and I click make unique. Now watch what happens to the font type of the word box, which is the type of object this currently is. It moves from bold to regular. I come over here, they're both regulars, right? This one, even though it's the original, is still regular because you know, it has no instances, but if I undo this, can I undo this? Oh, I can't undo it, never mind. That's how you find out both if an object is an instance, and if you know an object is an instance, you can click that button there, make unique, and it's going to remove it as an instance, and you can now modify it independently.